In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a function, a function that I found online, to make a scatter plot matrix. I'm assuming in this one, the way I have it set up is that your data set is called Y. If you call it something else, just make sure you change it right here at the top and down here where it says new data uh, equal. That arrow sign there is assigned to, it's basically I usually use equal signs, but well, some people use that, it just means assigned to. But anyway, that Y is the name of the data set. So I'm reading the data and attaching it. I don't know if that digits thing helps me or not. Um, so read the data in, that's whatever data set you have. Then select the variables that you want to have in the matrix. So this is basically all I really had to enter in was the name of those variables. If you forget the name of the variables, I would just go into my other win window here and do MAMES. Y and hit enter, and there's names of all the variables. And so you just select the ones you want in. And then really, you just highlight everything and run. And then you have this, I think, pretty nice correlation matrix with the diagonal being a histogram for each variable, the lower, lower diagonal being a scatter plot. Of course, you can see with gender because it's just going to be all it, male or female, and then so there's just two categories there. And then along the top, it has the correlation coefficients and a confidence interval, a 95% confidence interval for each correlation coefficient. If you're just looking to see if there's a correlation at all, you look to see whether or not the interval includes zero. So for example, this one goes from 0.28 to 0.46, so there is a correlation between GPA and SAT, and then we have one here, minus 0.0171 to 0 0.036, so there is no correlation between SAT and hours of television that someone worked. Of course, you can look at the histogram and see things like could be normal, could be normal, skewed, binomial. Um, so anyway, that's a, a pretty nice plot, or a pretty nice function that will help you get um, a correlation matrix with, as you can you can see the things that are on here right there. And that, the uh, code is available on the website.